G'day guys, how you going? Welcome to episode two of the beautiful plumbing bathroom renovations times two, because we're doing two en-suites. So today we're just gonna do a bit of um, research where these drains are going and can we connect them and stuff. So I'll show you how we get onto that. So I'll show you that after the logo, so play the logo. G'day guys, welcome to episode two. So today um, we're just gonna find out where the drains are, pull some pavers up. So this is existing toilet, right? So the, the toilet light comes out here and then you can see that the, um, there's an inspection opening. Now most, most toilets at people's houses usually has an inspection opening to, to clean the drains out and stuff like that. So we've run the um, shower and the basins and everything inside. No water has come past this section. So this line here is only for the, only for the toilet, right? So there must be other wire junctions or other junctions downstream of this which takes a shower and things like that. So anyway, we're gonna try and find those today. So because the new toilet's going over here, we have to pull up all these pavers to make sure we can get, you know, to install the new drain. In the middle of the bathroom here, there's a floor waste gully, and that's usually got 65 mil pipe. That's the size of it. Now we need to find the larger pipe. So if we dig down here and there's the large pipe, the 100 mil pipe um, coming here, that's happy days. Then we can just do all our T uh, junctions and everything, one for the new shower, one for the toilet, and then reconnect the existing one in there, which will take on the two basins. So that's what we're gonna do today. Just start pulling up the pavers, check it all out and I'll show you as, as we go along throughout the day of, of what we find and best way solutions and then we can start ordering the uh, core cutters and stuff like that. All right, thanks for watching. I'll be back in a sec. So we just pulled up all the pavers here. Now, you can see how you know all these, all these pavers have been cut all, all the way. So a really good way if you are ripping up pavers is pull them up and then place them down exactly where they, where they go. So all these little cuts and everything now, you know where they go back. So once we've all dug it up and, and completed and finished it, we can just pick up these pavers and then just transfer and boom straight back to where they are. And then otherwise we're worrying about, you know, where does this, where does this little triangle go and this one and how, how it all works out. So get the bulk of the pattern done. The rest of the bricks are just all solid. So we just made a big pile of that over there. And so, yeah, it's a good way of doing it anyway. So we're gonna dig up now and see if we can find any pipes. Okay, so we uh, pulled up the pavers. I'll just show you what we found. Bit of a um, yeah, weird way of doing things, but anyway, we'll see what, see what they've done here. So this is the um, stormwater pipe that goes across. And then we've got the um, hot and cold line that come up. And this actual hot line comes from, from where just where the old hot water system used to be. So the hot line comes um, from the roof down here around here, goes all the way through, up through, and then goes to the two bathroom taps, and then it must go up the wall somewhere and then over to the shower. So it's a massive run all the way around to get to get to the shower over there. So a little bit strange. That means we can more or less delete that hot, hot main completely, but the cold main here goes into a T here, right? Uh, for, for the cold main, which makes sense. But then down here, there's the, this one, there's another copper pipe here for the gas main, but I don't know what this one is, if this is a live water main, because it, it feels like it's a, you know, it's a proper poly, the, the blue line poly. Um, and I know I have a larger one going from a water meter back, so I'm not sure why they've got this here, if they've got a cold main here as well. So um, we'll have to maybe dig underneath where the old hot water system was to check that out. So we found the sewer goes up here, which is good, it's 100 mil. That's, you can see there's a bit of a step down here where it drops to 65. So we just got to cut that off and then we can reconnect that on, onto there. So basically we just got to prep now for the um, core drill to core drill through here for the, for the shower, core drill through here for the, for the toilet. So we're gonna clean all that up. So when he comes, we just have to cut all these pipes out of the way so he can lay his, his, his core drill down and go through both sides. And then he can drill inside um, down through the floor as well so we can get our pipes in. Once, that, once the core drill stuff, then we can put all our pipes and hook everything back up, hook the new shower line, um, existing floor waste gully up, and then the new toilet line going up. And then um, and continue on then, start putting the pavers up. But next thing we'll do here, we'll just pull up some pavers here where the gas and everything is, and see what's going on under there and see. If we can figure out what that black main is, that'd be good. Okay, stay tuned. G'day guys, okay, bit of a mystery solved. That black pipe here that was going through we ended up finding it coming up here so what i think it was was the um it might have been the rainwater main or something just to flush the toilet so we, we found the end of it it's just all capped off so this whole main now can be can be cut out um so we found all the pipes here um one mystery is too that, that the cold pipe seems to continue on and there's a hot pipe that's been sealed off so 
I'm not sure what the deal with that, if you know where that goes, and if it's connected anything, anything, we'll have to cut and see, see what happens on that. So um, eventually, when we put the new hot water system on the wall here, I wouldn't mind just because this is all going to be plastered because you know this window is going to be ripped out and bricked up higher. So we just need to we can plaster all this. So I wouldn't mind just chasing all the pipes in the wall, setting them out really nicely and neatly. Then um, yeah, that'll be really good to connect onto it later on and. And I'll show you the manifold system when we when we get through. So anyway, that's that's all good. The only thing we've got to work out is like I said, that, that water pot, where that where does that go? Because um we might just have to cut it and see what's working in the house and what isn't working in the house, and then we can sort it out. Alright, we'll keep going. Thanks guys. So we've done as much as we can today, um, figured out a lot of stuff, which is which is great. So now we know exactly where all the pipes are, what's what. Um that black pipe that was a mystery, we we've able to just cut that off. Um, ready to go so we've we found the water main the gas main everything and it all all kind of makes sense we know the, the cold main is flowing this way so the uh, thing is now we need to put um i need to get the hot water system on the wall so we can bring that we can chase all these pipes in because because this window is getting made smaller this is getting a new one and this one is getting a new one as well um all this wall here is uh, breno is going to plaster that um, to sort of match it and then that means we can just go to go to town chase all the pipes in the wall um, So there's no exposed then we can get the hot water system. We just you know the three pipes coming out which will look really good um, And then we'll put the manifold system in there too to run the, the two showers and the other shower as well So that's all sorted. We're, we got it mainly all ready for the um, For the core driller guy. So we've marked out here. We just you can see just here. I've just marked shower shower center so he's just got to drill through here and then over that side so that it's all ready for him to go so when he gives me the um when he gives me the okay he's coming we'll just come and um cut all these cut all these pipes out get it out of the way for him and then once he's cut that out then we can just redo the drains chuck the sand back in and then we're all all sorted as well i noticed too that the the vent here looks like it's got a bit of a looks like a little bit broken or something so might fix that while we're there as well so anyway so i'll get some more materials and then we'll start um putting that hot water system in, getting getting it ready. So um, the guy, the concrete cutter's coming on maybe, he said Thursday morning, seven o'clock. So that'll be good to get him sorted. Okay, guys, um, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, thanks for watching. Um, uh, really appreciate it. Okay, catch ya.